What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we are doing a real-world camera test on the OnePlus 11 5G. So right now we're on the front-facing camera, shooting 1080p video, and we will be walking around testing the photo and video capabilities of this phone. So let's get into it. All right, so right now we are on the rear camera here. I'm shooting at 4K resolution and just doing a walk just to see how steady things are as we're moving along and it seems like it's pretty dang steady at least from what I can see. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments section. All right, so right now I'm recording this voiceover using the microphone on the OnePlus 11 and the recording app, but I wanted to point out that in a lot of the video that I took, there was a massive amount of light glare, and that only seems to be happening when there is video. And as you can see, these photos look crisp as hell. Like, they are just looking very fantastic. But with video, it seems like there is light refracting off of the glass lens on the back, which is causing that issue here. But everything else looks pretty good. All right, so now we're on the rear facing ultra wide camera, still shooting at that 4K resolution, but I wanted to test the stability and everything, and I am using a selfie stick to walk right now, just to give you kind of a frame of reference of how I'm doing the stability here, but let me know what you think. So I gotta say that the video, at least on this camera, tends to lean more towards overexposing things. The highlights are just a little higher than my tastes would be. And that light glare issue is definitely a thing happening with the video recording, at least on the rear camera. As you can see, it comes up quite a bit where there's like some light glare refracting into the back lens. So not sure what that's all about, but it happens pretty consistently. So I will say from what I've noticed, the optical image stabilization on the video here is absolutely fantastic. Like it seems to be stabilizing very well and I'm not even turning on the super stabilized mode or whatever it's called because honestly I don't need it. But if I were to do a bit of running, how would that look with that super stabilized mode on? Let's check that out. All right, so I have Ultra Steady Pro enabled now and if I were to just do a little bit of jogging, You can see how steady that is. Now if I'm doing the same thing without ultra steady mode on, this is just the optical image stabilization at work right here. Which honestly, isn't that bad. So really, I think that this phone is a really strong contender when it comes to photographs. There's a lot of well-balanced photos here, as you can see, everything looks really, really nice. But when it comes to video, not so much. Even the indoor photos look great in my opinion. And I'll show you some night shot modes uh, coming up here in a little bit. But I think that this is a, a much stronger photo taker than it is a video taker. But I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments section. All right, so we're out here at the park on the front facing camera. It's actually quite windy right now, so I was curious to see how that translated as far as the audio goes. But uh, I think now it's probably time to get into some uh, night footage now. So here we are outside with the OnePlus 11 on the front facing camera shooting 1080p. Video looks a little bit grainy here, but overall not too bad for it being completely dark outside. So taking a look at the night mode photos here, I think they're pretty good. I mean, definitely a passable photo taker more than it is a video maker, at least in my opinion. I'd love to know your opinion though down in the comments section. And I'll leave a gallery for all these photos that I'm showing you down in the description in case you wanna check that out for yourself. But I do think that the night mode photos are completely passable. Not the best, but far from the worst. All right, so I am in a parking lot in probably like the darkest area that I could find just so I could show you how the camera quality is on the main shooter on the backside with that 4K resolution. So let me know what you think. Now real quick, I should mention that there is an AI highlight mode, which I'm using right now, that will give you a much brighter looking footage at the end of the day. It's a little grainy, but it does what it's supposed to do and it makes the picture a lot finer. All in all, I think the camera does a pretty good job while um, in motion. I think it does a good job at the photos that it takes in the daylight, but when you get outside or you get into more lower light settings, even the night mode doesn't help quite all the way. I mean, sure, you get brighter pictures, but I just didn't think they looked as good as they were supposed to. That's just my opinion though. All right, so here we are back inside with the OnePlus 11. I got some lighting in here, but what you're seeing right now and what you're hearing right now is audio and video directly from the OnePlus 11. And throughout this video, I've done no color correction or anything like that. What you see is what you get. And well, I wanna know what you think about what you got in this video as far as the photo quality, the video quality, the night mode stuff, which I think was mediocre. In my opinion, this camera is good. 
but it's not great and it's not poor. It's just hovering right there in the middle, being good enough for a smartphone camera in 2023. And you know, I, I gotta give them credit. They can probably fix this a little bit with software and stuff like that, but it's not my favorite camera, even out of the ones that I've tested out through 2022. So if that tells you anything, I don't know. I am super happy though to be able to show you this footage, this real world camera test. So let me know what you think about all that down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new around here to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. Thank you so, so much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this is Dom and I will catch you in the next video.